Hi everybody, Paul Cameron here from speedupmyjobsearch.com with some job search motivation for today. I know that job search can seem like a, a giant jigsaw puzzle at times. It's like missing 15 pieces, but it doesn't have to be that way. Here's an idea that can bring you some leads from a very unexpected source. Have you ever been in an interview where you knew that the interviewer knew that you both knew that you just weren't right, you weren't the right fit for that job. You're not the you're not the right person. Right? Well, instead of just politely finishing out the interview and gracefully leaving never to be heard from again, why not call it what it is? Be honest with each other and try this. Ask that hiring manager or the HR person for a recruiter referral. Just say, you know, I'm guessing that someone in your position gets lots of calls from recruiters who work with people like me. Do you have any favorites you wouldn't mind sharing with me? Now, your goal here is not to get the recruiter's name. I mean, after all, you've already got my name. You don't need them to tell you that Paul Cameron, the IT headhunter from DriveStaff, is the greatest recruiter ever. You obviously already know that. <laughs> Seriously, though, that's not the goal. Your goal here is to get them invested in your search. And this is one of the oldest tactics ever. This dates back as far back as the, the Ben Franklin days, right? When you get someone else to give you their recommendation about something or someone, they're naturally going to want to know that it actually helped you, right? And that you appreciate that they did that for you. After all, it's their recommendation, their names on it. So by getting the name of their favorite recruiter, now you have an open door to call them back to say thank you. Let them know that you spoke to that recruiter. You can see why they like them. And oh, by the way, since you know more about me than most HR people do because of our interview together, if you hear of other companies looking for someone with my background, please let me know. This HR person or hiring manager now has a connection with you. They are invested in your search. They will want to help you as you go forward. I mean, who better to get on your side than an HR person or a hiring manager who hires people who do what you do? Chances are spectacular that they have friends in similar positions in HR or hiring manager roles at other companies who might have needs that meet what you're looking for and they will talk right now you're expanding your network specifically in the exact right direction practice this role play it when the time comes and it happens to the best of us you know, some interviews just don't work out you'll have this tactic in your back pocket to use it when you need it and by the way, this can also be used in your thank you note after a rejection letter. This can help you. Now, if you want more about this tactic and specifically where it comes from, I have a full length video for free on speedupmyjobsearch.com right now under the search tab. It's called References and Accountability. Check that out. It will help you. Again, my name is Paul Cameron from speedupmyjobsearch.com. Subscribe to our free channel here and or sign up for our email list so you can get these emailed directly to you, get more tips like these, and just know that job search doesn't have to be so puzzling. You can do this. Now, it's time to get to work.